This is an Eyewitness News webcast. I'm Kelly Byrne. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Thursday, February 21st. Let's get a check of your forecast. Meteorologist Stefano DiPietro has all the details. Well, hey there, Kelly. And temperatures going to be on the rise quickly today, but until we do start to see that happen, we still need to watch out for some slick areas on untreated roadways. But look what happens by the afternoon. Temperatures will make it into the mid and upper 40s for the most part, so well above that freezing mark, certainly going to be helping out with a lot of melting and improving those road conditions. And some good sunshine today will help out with that as well. So a little windy in the eyewitness weather forecast. We get some sun. It's also warmer. The wind will be at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We're down near 28 tonight, 40 tomorrow. Good deal of sunshine. Saturday we start dry. A very late rain shower Saturday into Saturday night, and even an isolated mix in some spots with that temperature dropping to the 30s. But then we're back in the 50s Sunday with scattered rain showers. Kelly. All right, Stefano. Thank you. A man is taken in for questioning for a double shooting in Hazelton. Police took Randy Escado into custody on Wednesday. Wednesday, two men were rushed to the hospital after being shot inside Lucky Charms Bar on East 5th Street. The names and conditions of the victims have not been released. That shooting is still under investigation this morning. We're learning more about the five shootings that happened in Wilkesbury in the past week. Police say four of them are connected. Mayor Tony George held a news conference on Wednesday with Police Chief Joseph Coffey. The chief says numerous individuals are solving their disputes by shooting at each other. One man who was shot last Saturday remains in the hospital. That's the only reported injury in these four shootings. Chief Coffey says he's ramped up patrol in the city and is working with the FBI, state police, and attorney general's office in these investigations. Those are today's top headlines. Have a great Thursday.